Welcome to Archaeoversity Online Lectures. In this lecture, I am going to explain you one sample scientist. One sample scientist are frequently used in survey research. When you collect a data using an ordinal scale, interval scale or a ratio scale and when you wish to identify the trends in a data or to test the null hypothesis of equality of a distribution, then you need to use one sample scientist. In this lecture, I will show you how to calculate one sample scientist using IBM SPSS with the two examples. One sample scientist is used in several uh, situations like uh, identifying trends in a data or testing a null hypothesis of equality of a distribution. Now, what is it required uh, to calculate a one sample scientist is it is uh, it requires that the data need to be from a continuous distribution. This is one and uh, it doesn't require that the uh, data has any specific distribution or the shape of a distribution. Normally when we say that while performing a statistical analysis, we make an assumption that the data need to be normally distributed. So in case of uh, one sample scientist, this assumption is not required. So data may be any distribution that means it may be uh, skewed to a left or uh, uh, right skewed, any kind of a data set or any kind of a distribution, you can perform the one sample scientist. Then uh, the values must be independent of each other. Uh, this to be measured on using an ordinal scale, interval scale or a ratio scale, any of these scales and the sample size should be a small sample. When we are saying that a small sample in statistics, we consider a sample which is less than 30, then we call this as a small sample. So in all these occasions, we can perform one sample sign test. Now the hypothesis that we frame in a one sample sign test is that the median value equals the specified value. In the sense, uh, when you are measuring it, your null hypothesis, we say that the median equals to your specified value or a calculated value. So an alternative hypothesis is that alternate hypothesis we can uh, measure this as median value is not equal to the specified value. So uh, when we are saying that not equal to it may be a greater than or a median value greater than your uh, median value or a less than a median uh, value. Next is that how is that we are going to calculate the procedure for uh, sign test is in case of a sign test it accepts only two values two signs that is uh, plus sign and minus sign in the sense this plus sign and minus sign is uh, assigned to a value when comparing with the median value let us say uh, and median income of individuals is 10,000 so this is a median uh, income that is in rupees 10,000 now if an income of an individual is 11,000 then we assign a plus sign here because this is a positive which is a greater than a median value next if an individual's income is less than 10,000 assuming that it is a 9,000 then we assign a minus sign so performance is made that is a test is uh, statistically calculated using the number of a plus that is a sum of plus and then sum of minus values using these values we will calculate the one sample sign test Certain times you may not have a median value. If median value is not available, then you can use any other value like a mean value, mode value or any arbitrary value that you think appropriate for a particular kind of a test. You can use uh, uh, that value. Now the outcome is that one sample scientist analyzes only the direction of the difference. In a sense, it will say whether the direction there is a median equals to your observed values or not only this will tell so or it will tell that the direction is uh, in this in the positive side or the direction is in a negative side it will not explain you the intensity or uh, a size of this direction or the degree of extent of this direction to know the degree of extension then you need to use the wilcoxon signed rank test so normally these two tests that is a uh, one sample sign test one sample uh, sign test is used along with the uh, Wilcoxon sign rank test. So these tests, two tests are uh, uh, calculated together in in the uh, in the sense that one sample sign test will give you the uh, the difference that is a direction of a difference, or simply say that the, dire the direction, and Wilcoxon will tell you the intensity or a size. So in this lecture, I will explain you one sample sign test and in my next lecture, I will explain you Wilcoxon signed rank test. So here uh, for this purpose, I choose two examples. So here is uh, my first example. There is a HR manager intended to know employees satisfaction on current 
incentive plan so for that purpose he posed the question uh, randomly uh, uh, posed this question to his employees and uh, want to know whether the current incentive plan is acting as a motivator in the sense if the differences is a positive then uh, we can say that they are tend to have a positive opinion on this and acting as a mo uh, motivator if it is a negative then uh, we can say that it is not acting as a motivator or a uh, demotivator and if it is a neutral no impact of incentive plan on employee satisfaction so with these three uh, we'll uh, uh, run the one sample scientist using ibm spss so here uh, uh, is the data that is a incentive plan current incentive plan and employees are rated so ratings are given on a 7 6 7 1 like this and here you have a median uh, value so because this is a scale is of uh, uh, 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 uh, median is a neutral uh, so that uh, you, uh, below neutral you have a three observations and above neutral you have a three observations so any value that is if an individual signs uh, rates it as a 5 then it will give a plus sign 6 is plus 7 is a plus whereas if an individual ranks it as a 1 this is a minus this is a minus and this is also a minus a neutral is a zero and while calculating one sample scientist we exclude uh, neutral values or we exclude a median values so, so if somebody is uh, entered uh, four as a response then this is excluded from the test so now here you have a uh, data to run this uh, one sample scientist you need to click on analyze then from analyze non-parametric tests and from non-parametric test legacy dialogues and from legacy dialogues you need to choose two related samples so the here you are using a two related samples click on this a new window will uh, appear here so here you have a variables now first you need to select the median of incentive then you can click on the right arrow so that it will be uh, uh, appear in variable one Second is your incentive. You can right click this or simply you can drag this to the variable two. So both ways you can do one is you can drag and drop or you can click on a right arrow here. Then uh, uncheck the Wilcoxon. Uh, check the sign test because we are performing a one sample sign test. Then here from the options click exact and I choose exact here. Then click continue and from options choose the statistics uh, that is a descriptive as well as a quartiles then click continue once you uh, selected all your options then click ok so here you have a statistics report that is uh, uh, presented in output to or a new document so here you have a median incentives now the median is a 4 but your current incentive plan has got a uh, median value of a 3 which is a less than your uh, neutral that is it says that current employees are not uh, satisfied but we will not conclude with this uh, median value because uh, we have to check with the statistically significant or not then here you have a frequencies uh, negative differences are 16 that means of the total 28 responses 16 uh, were rated below 4 and positive dif uh, differences are 9 then ties are three so these three ties are excluded ties mean when a respondent answers it as a four that is a neutral it is a tie so ties are excluded here then here you are test statistics so here exact significance test of a 0 0.230 which indicates that uh, it is a power value is greater than 0 0.05 we fail to reject the null hypothesis in the sense there is a no difference in the opinion of uh, employees related to current incentive plan they are a neutral in the sense neither they are uh, highly dissatisfied nor highly satisfied with, with the current incentive plan which indicates that current incentive plan is not acting as a motivator even if you look at the exact sign test of a one tailed that is whether there is a difference is on a positive side or a no, uh, negative side here also your significance value is 0 0.11 which is uh, greater than 0 0.10 also that is at a 10 percent significance level also this also indicates that they, uh, there is a no difference that means the current incentive plan is not acting as a, a motivator now we look at the second example so here whatever second example says is an youtuber 
observed that the average views per hour on her channel is 524. She desired to improve her channel views and approached a digital marketer. And a digital marketer suggested to run ad campaign on YouTube as a paid uh, campaigns. As Google has a multiple ad plans, uh, the YouTuber decides to run a campaign for one day and assess the result. If it is a working, then uh, he may plan for she may plan for uh, additional. Otherwise, not. So for this purpose, they run a campaign for one day and uh, randomly collected views for uh, 12 hours in a day. So total 24 hours. From that, they randomly choose 12 hours, and the data is here. So here we have a views uh, per hour. So randomly chosen hours, here we have 12 hours and average views, this is the uh, mean value existing one. So again, to run uh, one sample sign test, click analyze, then non-parametric tests, legacy dialogues and two related samples. Already you have uh, uh, values here, previously calculated one. To remove this, simply uh, click reset. Now choose the normal views and send this to variable one then add campaign send this to variable 2 then uncheck the wilcoxon check sign test then I click exact so here uh, select exact then I click continue and then uh, in options choose both the uh, descriptive statistics as well as quartiles then click continue then click ok the result is here normal views uh, 524 Median is 524 and ad campaign views are 819. That means when you run an ad campaign, uh, her channel has witnessed the more views compared with the median views of a normal 524. It is uh, uh, 819 views now. Now negative differences, that is less than 524, only two. Positive differences, uh, 10 and uh, ties are zero. So we consider both the uh, 12 values. And here if you observe the test statistics, that is uh, probability value exact sign test has a probability value of 0 0.039 which is less than 0 0.05 where we reject the null hypothesis saying that ad campaign has impact on uh, getting a additional views for her uh, channel even if you look at the exact sign here it is a one side uh, one tailed so this is a positive 0 0.019 which is again less than 0 0.05 and uh, from uh, observations here we see that the ad campaign views are higher in the sense the direction is on a positive side from this result we can conclude that by running an ad campaign uh, there is a positive uh, sign in or there is a positive or there is an increase in there is an increase in uh, views in her channel so this is uh, how you need to perform one sample sign test on uh, data measured on uh, interval scale and ordinal scale thank you thank you very much Thanks for listening to the lecture.